today I'm going to show how to automate ECR image scanning. Let's quickly talk about what is ECR and then why we'll check why we need a scan scanning. So ECR stands for the Elastic Container Registry. This is pretty much same like a Docker Hub if you have a experience with uh, a Dockerized application. So in inside of the AWS, the service called ECR where you can save your private or public images. The secondly, why we need a scanning. So usually what is happening, the most of most of our application are built on top of the base images. Of course, the application are containerized application. So example, the node image. The node images are downloaded from the Docker Hub, like usual uh, place for retrieving uh, images. And those images could have some potential vulnerability, especially the security vulnerabilities. If the base Docker image you are using has uh, any vulnerabilities, the application you are built on top of that image more likely inherit those vulnerabilities. That is where the AWS give a mechanism to scan those vulnerabilities. So today I'm going to show how to automate this scan and give a nice report so where you or your secret team can work on. So as usual, uh, if you like my video content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Let's get in. Right, so I'm in the AWS console in uh, uh, is Amazon ECR screen. So if you want to find the ECR, just type ECR in the service and click on the Elastic Container Registry. So for uh, for the demo purpose, I create a repository and uh, already push one of the image for my application, which is based on the uh, node base image. So I want to show you some vulnerability in a uh, uh, console. Then I'll show you the how to automate. So as you can see, this is uh, one of the uh, image because I push only the one image. And you can see uh, there's an in the vulnerability column under column, so you can't see anything. What you can do, you can click on this image and you can do the scanning. So if I click on the scanning, it's start scanning and it's make take like a, it's based on the image size, it takes some time. Let's wait for until scan is completed. AWS console again. The scan took about 10 to 15 seconds. It's a very fast and uh, you can see the scan status is completed. So, and uh, it's give a summary of the vulnerabilities. Let's click on the details and let it down, let it download all the, uh, the reports. Uh, let's wait a few seconds. Right, we got the uh, the details. Right, as you can see, it's list down the, the critical vulnerability first. Uh, in this case, it's a nine, and uh, it's give a bit of description what is the actual issue is, and then it's give a, a link where you can find more information. If I click open the link, and it goes to the particular uh, website, and it shows more information. And it give like a basically uh, what the, the the best version you can upgrade to uh, avoid these vulnerabilities. So same for the all the vulnerabilities, and that you can follow up with the you or your security team and uh, rectify the, the the version. So right. So this is how you do the image scanning. Let's think about you have a multiple repository in your AWS account in the different region. So you can't do manually uh, this uh, scanning. It's, it's a very time consuming and a very, it's a really headache. So let's, what we can do, we can automate this whole scanning and get the report uh, through uh, using the Python. So let's get into the Python script and see what's in there. I'm in a VS code where I do have only one class. So just to make sure everything is uh, simple, I create a one class and uh, um, keep everything in a single. So in your case, you can use your favorite editor and you can organize this code uh, in a, whichever uh, you preferred in a preferred manner. So let's see what this application actually does. So if I run this application, what does it do? It's uh, connect to the AWS, the account, and uh, it's uh, list down all the repository and start uh, scanning each image and it's a giver a report with the csv file if i open the csv file what you can see all the critical issues list down with the their description plus their the actual link where you can click and get more information about this uh, 
uh, vulnerability. So this is pretty much same as, for example, you can see expert Linux and the MariaDB. If I open the uh, console, so you can see expert uh, Linux and MariaDB. So pretty much same results you can get into the uh, in the CSV file in, in an automated manner. So let's see now how this Python script works. So this index.pi doesn't have any login information to connect to AWS. So, but I do have a set up my uh, AWS CLI to my, connect to my AWS. So for example, if I, if I run AWS uh, CLI, uh, S3 and LS, so it's list down all my uh, buckets. That's mean I can connect to my, uh, my AWS account. So, right, so you have to do the same thing. I'll put the link uh, if you want to know how to set up AWS CLI. So you can find a, a link in the given uh, in the comment section. So let's get into the code now. So as you can see, this is pretty much a, a very simple method. And uh, if you know the, have an experience with the Python. So basically we need to get some import uh, to uh, uh, for example, subprocess and CSV and the JSON to do some processing and uh, create a, a class inside this Python. As I mentioned, this is, I need to just everything is make uh, simple. So you can push this class into a different uh, file. And this vulnerability basically keeps some information and store this information in a temporary array and we can dump into a CSV file. So that's where we, I'm using this vulnerability. And I create a couple of uh, uh, list and keep some uh, temporary information. So let's see start with the, where do we start is the main. So let's go to the main class. So the first thing is what does it do? It's get the, all the repository. So for a log uh, AWS account. If I go to the uh, this method, so get all uh, repository. What does it do? It's running this AWS CLI command. So basically, if I run this command in my terminal, you get the same result. If I run it, I'll show you. So if I run this command, what does it say? It send a, uh, it's it said uh, send all the repository and my uh, AWS account. So currently I do have one and uh, which is very uh, comprehensive information uh, regarding this uh, uh, comma, through the, this command, right? So if I go back down and what is it? So it's get the, uh, the uh, it's called the, uh, this CLI command, AWS CLI command, get the result and uh, result come as a, a JSON payload. So JSON and what I do, I do some uh, JSON conversion and get the repository, uh, uh, the property. So if I go back again, I'll show you quickly. Uh, we are interested with the repository uh, property. Uh, it's an array. So it, co it could have, in this our case, we do have only one and I'm just printing a number of repository and uh, pass this repository object. So if I go back, then um, the, the way I list down the the methods, uh, this is the way it, it's get actually executed. So if I go to uh, main method, so as you can see, get the repository and I'm going through the each repository and it's printing down. For example, I get the first repository, repository name, and print the repository name. Then I want to get, the, I call the another method which is called latest uh, image because I want to, uh, I don't want to scan whole, all images in the repository because I am interesting with the, um, the, the latest. So in your case, it could be different. If you want to scan all the repositories, you can change this script as a, but in my case, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm scanning only the, the latest one, which is currently usually people are using. And if I go to the latest uh, image, uh, uh, how do we get the image, latest image? So I'm passing the report name, which is, is extract from the here. If I go back to uh, latest, so pretty much same thing as you can see. In this case, I'm getting the uh, the images. I'm describing the images for a particular repository. And if I go a little bit uh, right, and what I'm doing, I am getting the I'm sorting and get the first image. As you can see, this is a uh, this is how you can get query and sort uh, the images. So in this case, what I'm getting is some one of the identifier of the of the first image, which is the latest Im image. So I get the uh, 
the identifier is called image digest and passed to the whoever called this method. Once you get the image digest, that's where we start scanning. So if I go to the start scanning again, pass in the repository name image digest, and what you can see, uh, again, I'm running the AWS uh, CLA command with uh, some digest, some information. This is the image ID I'm passing. And so it's pretty much same uh, same kind of pattern what I'm doing every time I'm running the AWS CLI command. So it, when they start scanning, then what we need to, we need to uh, wait because uh, we don't know how long it takes to uh, scanning. So this is the another command AWS provide. AWS just waits, uh, this command says, you are waiting until uh, scan is completed. So whenever you call this method, it's wait until it's finished the scanning. This is where uh, it could usually a uh, few seconds, uh, like not few seconds, I mean say uh, of maximum, I guess four minute. It's based on the, it's based on the image size, of course. So then once the weight scan uh, results, so for example, you can see weight scan results, then what we do, we get the results. The once scan is finished, we call the get scan result. If I go to the get scan result, uh, as you can see, uh, image describe scan finding. In this case, I'm calling the different method uh, by giving the ID and the repository name and get the result and pass back to the caller. Uh, so this is the interesting part. So once you get the results, as you can see, uh, we fi can find some of the, the important information where the, what's the status of the scan. So over here, what we're gonna do, I'm, I'm printing this status. And if it is a fail, I'm move, I'm going, still continue because there could be some other repository. I don't want to stop the, the uh, whenever we get the failure, I want to go to the next repository. So in our case, we do have only one repository, therefore uh, it's, it's stopped. But if you have more than one repository, it's gonna continue uh, the rep scanning for the other repository. So let's say if it is not fail, what's going to do, uh, this is where we find in the vulnerabilities. We find in, send in the repository name and the actual uh, JSON uh, result. So what does it do this method? If I go back, uh, this is more likely finding some the interesting property and uh, creating uh, the class, the one that we created and populate some list of object. So based on we are in this case, as you can see, we interested with the package name, uh, package a version and uh, URL sort of thing. And uh, that's it. So once you get the finding the result, if you go back to find the result, we write down to CSV file. This is pretty much standard. We got the list and we find, write down to uh, the CSV file. So this is pretty standard. If you see uh, how to write CSV file through the Python, um, this is uh, not AWS of course. So this is how you can automate your scanning, image scanning uh, uh, in uh, through using the Python script. So what does it do? If I if I if I I'll show you some of the uh, some of the the payload. For example, if I get the scanning and scan payload, if I go to here, uh, then, so. If I run again, right, I want to go to the source because I'm using the virtual directory. I'm running the application again. Pi. It should create a a data JSON file. So basically what does it, what does it do? It's printing the actual uh, payload of the uh, result. So if I open this data JSON, this is the data JSON it's printing. Uh, if I go to the data JSON and if I format, right, so this is the format. Uh, as you can see, it's sending all the, the vulnerabilities uh, ordered by the criticality and as an object. So this is the first object and uh, this is the second object. So 
in, in our case, we are we are interested with the few properties, but as as your requirement, you can grab any other properties too. For example, some attribute is there, some vector, the some CS uh, double S score. Uh, all the information is there. You can you can uh, you can find in this uh, uh, payload. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, it's it. And uh, uh, I guess you hope enjoyed. So if you have any question while running this app, uh, script, or uh, other than the, any common uh, issues, uh, le le please comment below. So I am happy to help. So yeah, that's it for the today. If you if you enjoy my video so please uh, like and subscribe really appreciate it thank you so much see you on the next video